so we're with MPP Jim McDonnell. You've just released um, a statement regarding youth and jobs in Ontario, and apparently you're not happy with the government's performance. Well, the government, we're announcing any new plans. Uh, we last month agreed that uh, we would clear the the uh, the slight that they had on uh, with a lot of, uh, well, um, we thought, uh, you know, uh, I guess safe bills that we all agreed with. Mm -hmm. um, immediately we see another bill on the table for calories in, in restaurants. And uh, we were under the... Uh, you know, what we're trying to do is, is get the Premier to actually deal with the jobs crisis. And and how do you think that she should deal with it? Like, if you guys were in power, how would you deal with it? Well, we have to go back and start making, um, you know, our market competitive again. Um, we've made, uh, you know, we have a number of disadvantages now with the uh, hydro, uh, you know, we talk to different employers with the TSSA. They, it's a roadblock every time they try to do anything. Um, we have to be a, a partner with business uh, to get them hiring again and making them want to expand. Um, you know, we've become a, a higher price market to work in, so we have to find other advantages. Is there is there one specific thing for your riding or this area that you think we can do to improve youth employment? Well. Um, we have to grow our business. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not as bad in this riding as we are in some of the er other areas of the province. But youth employment, uh, people seem to have to, to go to Alberta, leave the area to get a job. So we really need to get, uh, you know, young um, our opportunities for young entrepreneurs to open up business. Uh, some of our established businesses to grow. Um, very expensive now to manufacture in this province, but we have capacity. So is there some way we could bring um, these plants back up to, uh, to you know, to uh, putting out product again, hiring people. Now, you recently were given a new appointment in, in the HUDAC Shadow. Yeah. Now, what's your official title? Uh, critic for Municipal Affairs and Housing. So um, we'll be looking at as well uh, working with municipal governments on some of their concerns. We know that uh, their capacity to pay is certainly a, a concern as uh, right now um, there's really no control on, on salaries. The, the system for arbitration is not working. Mm -hmm. uh, we realize that. We need to deal with it. We have a government that refuses to acknowledge there's a problem. Do you, do you think it's equitable for cities like Cornwall or regions like East Ontario to have to pay the same rates as places like Toronto or Ottawa where there's a higher cost of living? Well, definitely there's a higher cost. Uh, we, we see areas where Toronto's had to pay uh, a retention fee uh, to keep their employees. Um, the arbitration system has moved that right across the province, so it's really made that fee in Toronto now useless. Uh, even though employers like Cornwall uh, did not want to pay that fee, <laughs> they were ordered by under arbitration, the current arbitration system, to pay those uh, fees. To um, you know, it was an extra fee that they did not want to pay. They did not have a problem uh, because the cost of living is less here, but still ordered to pay, which which comes back to the taxpayer paying the bill. In your opinion, are we gonna have a spring election? Um, I think that really depends with the NDP. Um, mm -hmm. I saw what they went through last May. I know that they were uh, last early last June. They were under a lot of pressure to, you know, turn this government down. Uh, there was a lot of criticism. Um, I know through their expressions in the House, they weren't happy. Will they go through that again? I have a hard time thinking they will, but um, we thought that last year as well. Are, are you going to run again for MPP if there's a spring election? Oh, definitely. That's my, my intentions right now. All right. And out of all the different scandals and issues that have hit the McGuinty and, and Wynn governments now, what do you think is the most glaring? What upsets you the most as, as a Conservative MPP? I really think the Green Energy Act. Um, it's a, by far the most expensive. It's, it's more than a billion dollars a year for 20 years. Um, and it's one of the reasons we our jobs are, are leaving. Uh, we have companies leaving... Uh, uh, especially the mining industry, leaving and going to, to refine their products somewhere else just because it's too expensive in this province. Uh, you know, this was once our, you know, we, we built an economy on cheap energy and they've squandered this. And not only that, but they've tied us down for years to come. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. McDonnell. Thank you.